Today marks three years since I decided to start selling on eBay and documenting it here on YouTube. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Aussie Flipper. My name's Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. Yes guys, they were socks and they were slides. And I'm a socks and slides guy, I can't help it. I'm just gonna keep doing it because my feet get cold and they're really, really comfy. So, welcome back to the channel, big one today. Six, seven, eight eight pairs of clothes and I have spent a whopping total of $30. The way the room's set up, I've got my trestle table here, um, that goes onto my working desk there. Uh, women and men's shorts, jeans, polos, shirts. So I break it up in a few different ways. Probably I'm gonna need to buy a few more of those tubs. Uh, but for now, it's all working pretty well. So I wanted to show you that today, the new office, it's uh, getting real. Like anyone starting something new, I honestly had no idea what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing three years later. Looking back, 2020 was one of the strangest years of my life. Within the space of a month, I'd quit my job, broke up with my girlfriend, and found myself flying back home, living out of my old bedroom at my parents' house with the single-minded focus of growing a business on eBay and starting a YouTube channel. I'd never sold anything on eBay, and I sure as hell had never published a video on the internet. Uh, I do think for the indefinite future, I'll, I'll continue to do reselling. But um, something I've really grown passionate about is, is YouTube as well. So I really want to kind of grow on YouTube and, and do as much as I can around creating content um, because that, along with the editing side, uh, has been a whole lot of fun as well. I haven't been disappointed about where I've landed and, uh, and I do want to sort of continue with this for another couple of years at least. So where would I go after this? Probably back to the footy. But um, for now, I'm enjoying being back home on the coast and enjoying better weather than this normally. The first year was the toughest. I spent more hours learning what to do than actually doing it, resulting in 12, 14, 16 hour work days, seven days a week. I couldn't stop. Every new sale made me more addicted and every new YouTube subscriber made me more excited, but the growth was incredibly slow. It was around this time that I was able to make enough money to move out of home, finding a rental apartment close by, but I'd find myself only going back there to sleep because I was working so much. Burnout has been something that I've dealt with on multiple occasions. There's only so much that you can do and the pressure that I put on myself to figure it all out wasn't necessary. And if I could tell myself anything back then, it'd be to slow down and take it easy. Your health's more important than anything career related. And I knew if I had I, knew, I, got, I could see myself with 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm not there yet, nowhere near. But in my mind, I've, I've got 100,000. As I talk to you right now, I've got 100,000 subscribers. You're out there, you just haven't clicked the button yet. And I've got an eBay store that's six figures. That was always the thing in my head. 100,000 subscribers, $100,000 in income on eBay. And I've got the 100,000 on eBay. And I've got, that, I've got that basically within 12 to 18 months of, of starting this journey. So I've proved to myself that the dreams that I had initially when I was on zero and zero, have almost, almost been able to achieve, certainly from an eBay front, but I, I truly believe that over time it will be from a YouTube front as well. The last 12 months have been by far the most exciting. A year ago, I flew to America and I saw massive growth in the YouTube channel. I moved into a new home, setting up my business in the garage and I've hired a part-time employee, Courtney. She's been amazing and she's really helped the business grow in her first six months of being here proud of what I've been able to achieve in three years and I'm optimistic about what the next three years will bring. This part of my life has taught me that hard work can get you a long way in life and discipline and sacrifice is really the key to realising any dream that you have. But those traits won't be possible if you don't genuinely love what you do each day. It's been 1,095 days since I started this journey and I've still got the same excitement and single-minded focus that I had on day one. If you're here for the first time or if you've never missed an upload, I just wanted to say thank you. Without you, I wouldn't be able to get to do what I love each day. The fear will always be there. I've come to realise with any big decision that I've ever made in my life, there is always that element of fear that things could possibly go wrong. But I think you have to ask yourself, what are you most afraid of? Is it the fear of failure or what people will think of you? Or are you more afraid of that fear stopping you from ever starting in the first place?